Hello, everyone. I'm honored to have been invited to speak at this conference. I'm a PhD student from Harbin Institute of Technology and currently doing some research on UAV communication. Today, my topic is trajectory optimization in UAV communication system based on user QoS. The content of this presentation is divided into five parts. In section one, I will introduce the driving force and the contribution of this paper. In section two, I will propose the system model of the UAV-assisted communication scheme based on the QoS. In section three, I will adopt an interactive algorithm that jointly optimize UAV trajectory and user scheduling and use the BCD mice and the ICA technique to solve the non-convex problem. The similar results will be showed in section four and finally I will make a conclusion. Let's look at the advantage of the UAV due to the high mobility and the high flexibility. UAVs can provide high quality lost communication linkings when the ground environment is not complex. Meanwhile, the fixed deployment inf infrastructure cannot meet the requirement of resource overlines and high dynamic, which produce, provides a great advantage for UAV-assisted cellular networks. Therefore, UAVs have been widely used in the emergency communication of post-disaster rescue based on UAV and the UAV-assisted cellular communication. The contributions of this paper are as follows. We propose a UAV-assisted communication scheme based on the QoS. We introduce the delay constraint QoS in test to ensure the delay requirements of the user. For the downlink between the single antenna UAV and the single antenna users, we propose the, the optimization problems of maximizing the minim minimum infective capacities of each user under the delay constraint condition. We consider an, an interactive algorithm that jointly optimize UAV trajectories and uh, user schedulings use the BCD mice and the SCA technique to solve the no convinced problem. Section 2, System Model. Here, you can see a finger which shows the process of information transmission between a single UAV with a single antenna and the multi-users with a single antenna on the ground. System model constraints are divided into two parts. UAV trajectory constraint indicates that the UAV returns to its starting points during the period and the speed of the UAV in each time slot cannot exceed its maximum fly speed. User scheduling constraint states the UAV can only connect connect to one user in each time slot. The objective function is to 
maximizing the minimum infective capacity among the whole users. Assuming that the location of the ground user is noise, the optimization problem is expressed. The left side of 7B is neither convex, nor concave for variable Q or variable X. Meanwhile, the variable X in 7F is a binary discrete variable. Thus, 7F has the same phenomenon with 7B. Based on this, we try to adopt the SCA technique and the BCD mice to solve these problems. Section 3, the proposed algorithm. Based on BCD mice, problem 7 are divided into two parts. The first one is user scheduling optimization. The first order derivation and the second order derivation of the infective capacity in the period with respect to any variable x are as follows. The positive or negative of an equation 10 points on the atom in the red book. Since this, part, this paper aims at the general user, the QoS index is usually in the range of 0 to 0 0.1. It means that the objective function is convex. The second one is UAV trajectory optimization. The first order derivation and the second order derivation of the effective capacity in the periods with respect to any variable Q are as follows. Similarly, the objective functions is convex for the variable Z. Meanwhile, Z is convex for the variable Q. Therefore, the SCA technique is used to approximate the objective function. Finally, BCD algorithm for problem 7 is as follow. Meanwhile, trajective initialization scheme for a single UAV will affect the convergence speed of the interactive algorithm. Trajective initialization scheme is also given. Section 4 Numerical results. In this section, we provide a simulation to illustrate the effectiveness and convergence of algorithm 1. Some parameters are given in the lift from finger 2 we can find that with the increase of the fly period of the UAV the trajectory of the UAV is also gradually increasing meanwhile we can find that the longer the period of the trajectory is the bigger the gap between the initial trajectory and the optimization trajectory. Further, the trajectory with a longer period can reach 
the flight trajectory more adaptively to maximize the objective capacity in the network. From this point, we can infer that when the period is large enough, the UAV will stay directly above some user for a while to increase the minimum infective capacity, thereby increasing the overall system capacity. Figure 3 shows the UAV flight trajectory of different user QoS. Table 1 shows the maximum infectory capacity comparisons of different user QoS. The smaller the QoS, the lower the delay requirements of user. The over QoS of Scheme 1 is larger than that of Scheme 2, which shows that the user of Scheme 1 have relatively strict requirement for delay. Target value of Scheme 2 in Table 1 shows an increase in trade relative to Scheme 1. This is because the system needs to allocate more bandwidth for users with stricter delayed requirements to adapt to the in infective capacity of downlink transmission. However, we strictly regulate the allocation of bandwidth, which leads to the reduction of the infective capacities of the downlink. Finger 4 shows the maximum infective capacity of different trajectory designs in different periods. As the period increases, the gap between the two schemes gradually increase, increases. From this, we can infer that the gap between Scheme 1 and Scheme 2 will increase significantly with the increase of the period. Since the flight radius of Scheme, one, scheme 2 will not increase with the period increases to a specific value. Even if the user scheduler is optimized, the fixed trajectory of Scheme 2 will limit the communication distance between the UAV and the user to restrict the increase of the infective capacity of each user. In contrast, the UAV ensures the hovering time above each user and increases the infective capacity of each user by adaptively planning the trajectory in Scheme 1 when the period is large enough. BIO shows the convergence behavior of the proposed algorithm. We find that the target value will increase after each iteration and the convergence will be reached quickly within about 10 iterations. It can be seen from Table 2 that the infective capacity is concentrated on one user in the maximum total capacity scheme. Since the goal is to maximize the total capacity, the UAV will find the user with the largest infective capacity in the interactive process. This behavior is fatal to 
to other users' information transmission, it is verified that this paper guarantees the fairness of users. It is worth noting that the fairness of user comes at the expense of reduced reducing the total infective capacity. Section 5. Conclusions The main goal of this paper was to design an effective scheme for jointly optimizing user scheduler and UAV trajectory. The proposed scheme could satisfy different users' QoS requirements while ensuring that a single user could not monolize information transmission to indirectly promote the fairness of information transmission. Compared with the circular trajectory scheme and the fixed points trajectory scheme, the convergence and the effectiveness of the proposed algorithms were very feed. That's all. Thank you. Are there any questions?